The Hornblower Niagara Cruises, formerly known as the Maid of the Mist, is a popular boat tour operation that provides a thrilling and up-close experience of the world-famous Niagara Falls. These boat tours are a must-do activity for visitors to Niagara Falls, offering a unique perspective of the majestic natural wonder. Here's a description of the Hornblower Niagara Cruises experience. Location, the Hornblower Niagara Cruises operates in both Canada and the United States, providing different vantage points for viewing the falls. The Canadian operations depart from Niagara Falls, Ontario, while the U.S. operations leave from the American side. Iconic boats, passengers board specially designed boats that are equipped to handle the turbulent waters near the falls. These boats are spacious and well-maintained, ensuring a safe and comfortable journey. Close Encounters The highlight of the Hornblower Niagara Cruises experience is getting incredibly close to the powerful Niagara Falls. The boat takes passengers right into the mist and spray of the Horseshoe Falls, one of the three falls that make up the Niagara Falls complex. It's a thrilling experience as you feel the rush of water and hear the deafening roar of the falls. Viewing Platforms On the Canadian side, there are also several viewing platforms and decks where you can enjoy panoramic views of the falls and take stunning photographs. Duration the typical Hornblower Niagara cruise lasts about 20 minutes, providing ample time to experience the falls up close and personal. The boat ride is accompanied by narration, explaining the history and geology of the falls. Ponchos, given the proximity to the falls, passengers are provided with waterproof ponchos to protect themselves from the mist and spray. It's advisable to wear appropriate clothing, as you may still get wet. Seasonal operation, the Hornblower Niagara cruises operate seasonally, typically from spring to late autumn. The schedule can vary depending on weather conditions, so it's a good idea to check for operating hours and availability in advance. Accessibility The boats and viewing platforms are designed to be accessible to people with disabilities, making it possible for a wide range of visitors to enjoy this breathtaking experience. The Hornblower Niagara Cruises offer a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness the power and beauty of Niagara Falls up close, making it a memorable experience for tourists from around the world. Whether you choose to take the tour from the Canadian or American side, it's an adventure that allows you to connect with nature and appreciate the grandeur of the falls. side of Niagara Falls, which in comparison is a smaller waterfall that lies far to the left of the Horseshoe Falls and is located between Prospect Point and Luna Island. According to scientific study and historical research, it has been concluded that the American Falls will eventually transform into a succession of descending rapids due to natural forces of erosion. The high flow rate of water causes the fall of large sections of bedrock from the American Falls which is composed of soft shale and limestone. Though the height of the American Falls is higher than the Canadian counterpart, no daredevil ever preferred to go over the American Falls. All stunts were performed from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls, which is more popular with its immense water flow rate and shape. The height of the American Falls stands at 180 feet or 56 meters high. Its crest line 1,075 feet or 328 meters wide. Its water flow 75,000 gallons or 8,800 liters per second. And a recent notable rockfall. In 1954, a large section broke off and fell near the end of Prospect Point. Next is Bridalville Falls. The smallest of the three waterfalls, it is located on the American side, just to the right of the American Falls, separated by Luna Island. Goat Island is much larger and separates the American and Bridalville Falls from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. The height of Bridalville Falls is 181 feet or 55 meters and remains the smallest waterfall compared to its two counterparts.
American side, US side, right now. So this is the American side. Okay. Niagara Falls, more specifically, is the name of three waterfalls. The American, the Bridal Veil, vale, and the Horseshoe Falls. The Canadian side of Niagara Falls, with the highest flow rate and natural beauty located between Goat Island and Table Rock, is known as the Horseshoe Falls. As a natural wonder of the world, the Horseshoe Falls name derives from the crescent or horseshoe shape of the crest line. And the city of Niagara Falls and all its natural beauty continues to be a holiday spot for millions of visitors from all over the world each year. Geological studies and the history of Niagara Falls indicate that thousands of years ago, the falls were located 11 kilometers downriver from its current location. Erosion was a major issue associated with the Canadian Falls. The average rate of erosion for Niagara Falls was as much as one meter per year until the early 1950s. Since then, for the diversion channels, the canals used for generating electricity have decreased the water flow, reducing the erosion in Niagara Falls, and to this day, Niagara Falls remains a clean and significant source of hydroelectric power. There are over 500 waterfalls in the world taller, but Niagara Falls is the biggest waterfall in the world for volume of water flowing at an average of 750,000 gallons per second. Niagara Falls' interesting facts include the white foam floating on the water is dissolved limestone and is created naturally due to the massive erosion forces of falling water. The height of the Canadian Falls is 170 feet or 52 meters. The estimated crest line is 2,200 feet or 670 meters wide. And the depth of the river at the base of the falls is 184 feet or 56 meters deep. Witness the awesome natural beauty and power of Niagara Falls.
This is the bridge connecting uh, Canada side and the U.S. side. So to your right is the yeah, U.S. side. Very refreshing. Yeah. And uh, to the left is the Canadian side. So we are now in Canada. So this is the U.S. side. And it's again the Canada side. Okay. Please accompany and stay with us as we continue to explore Eastern Canada. Please hit the like button and follow my channel by subscribing for more exciting videos.